welcome back to another video. My name is, of course, Kraken. You can find me on the grams at Kraken Airsofter. At the time of recording this video, we just hit 2,000 subscribers, so I just want to thank you guys so much for that. That is incredible, and uh, I just can't believe how uh, quickly we're growing, and uh, I just can't wait to see what the future holds for this channel. So thank you guys so much. We got some really cool stuff on the way, I promise you. So, today we're gonna be talking about a couple different things that you do not want to cheap out on with Airsoft. I know my channel is notorious for the cheap stuff, all right? We always talk about the cheap stuff, but today we're talking about the expensive stuff, stuff that you shouldn't cheap out on. These are a few Airsoft items that you will never regret spending a little extra money on. So I think some common misconceptions here is the gear, for sure. Everyone has to, you know, look the part, has to look really cool and all that stuff when it comes to airsoft. Especially for a lot of the noobs out there. You know, you show up to your first airsoft match and you're just wearing a hoodie and track pants. That's totally fine. I've seen people who are playing for years and they are just wearing regular clothes, jeans and a t-shirt. Like, it's totally fine. Things that you should spend your money on, though, are guns. Usually those people who are playing for five years and are still wearing jeans and you know, a t-shirt, they have a killer gun. And nothing is worse, believe me, than showing up to an airsoft field. All right, it's your first time, you're super excited, and you got your, you know, $120 airsoft gun. It may not be clear, but it, it's clearly not good. And you show up and you start, you know, having a battle, and then you just get wrecked by these kids with $800 HPA and DSG setups. It's not fun, it's not a good time, trust me. I know, I've been there. By all means, if you're gonna spend, if you're gonna even bother getting into Airsoft, I definitely recommend spending a little bit more on your gun and definitely do your research. Find something that actually is good. Can't tell you how many times when I was new to Airsoft, you walk into an Airsoft store and go, that gun looks cool, I want it. And you have no prior research on that gun. Just because it looks cool doesn't mean it performs cool. So definitely take into account the guns that you're buying because believe me, there is a difference. Even if you want to just buy a cheap $120 gun, then upgrade it like crazy. I've seen a lot of people do that and yeah, it's gonna be a great gun. So just make sure you're not uh, going crazy cheap on your airsoft gun. Another thing is actually the BBs that you're gonna be putting into your gun. You wanna make sure those are high quality. When I first started airsoft and we were using plastic clear soft shotguns from Walmart, like it was nothing crazy at all and that you can just throw whatever you want into it. We were using like 0.12 gram little green and yellow plastic BBs. I'm sure you guys have all seen them. But if you look at them closely, they are the most imperfect circles you've ever seen in your life. And then you compare that to, you know, uh, an Elite Force point 30 gram BB. I, those things are pristine and that's what you want going into your expensive gun. There's so many intricate parts in the feeding system, in the uh, in the barrel, in the hop-up rubber, everything. You don't want that to be getting screwed up by some cheap BBs. And also a lot of cheap BBs can actually shatter in the gun when the spring fires or whatever other system you're using. When they actually get fired and they can actually shatter inside the gun. I've even in the mag, I've heard stories of them shattering inside the mag and your mag gets all jammed up. That's not good. But definitely invest in some high quality BBs. You pay for what you get with BBs. Now next of course is eye protection. You do not want to be cheaping out on eye protection. Don't show up to the field wearing your Nerf glasses, all right? It's not gonna happen. Also, don't just go on Amazon and find some cool gas mask or something that's $25. Prime next day shipping or something. Like, it's not gonna cover your, well, it's gonna cover your eyes, but you get shot once and you got a whole, some, you got a bunch of plastic in your eyes. That's not good. As much as it's hard for me to say this, eye protection is not just about looking cool. It is protection, all right? So just keep that in mind, use, use discretion, and buy something that's actually gonna protect you. Me personally, I'm a paintball mask boy. That's just what I prefer. I've been through helmets, goggles, the metal face masks, all that stuff. I personally just prefer paintball masks. That's just my opinion. Um, I'm currently using a V-Force mask. It was like around $120 or something. Um, there's the dye masks, which are the crazy high end. You do not need a dye mask. And there's a whole bunch of stuff kind of in between. So just make sure you're going to a reputable store that's for paintball or airsoft and just just get something that's not $25 from Amazon Prime. You won't regret it, I promise. 
And last but not least, let's talk about batteries. Batteries are something that is incredibly important. Now, if you're running gas or HPA or whatever you're doing, of course this section isn't important, but a lot of people don't know how to battery. <laughs> I personally use LiPo batteries and I would highly recommend really everyone use LiPo batteries. I mean, as long as you're not holding down the trigger on full auto for 45 seconds, you're gonna be fine with a LiPo battery, to be completely honest. But definitely, also, you pay for what you get with batteries. Proper uh, charging methods are definitely gonna help out with that as well. Different batteries perform different ways. Uh, I know LiPos are super, super picky batteries, so definitely know what you're doing when you're charging a LiPo. After every single time you use one, basically, I highly suggest you throw it on the charger, and then before you go out to the field, maybe the night before, throw it on the charger again, and just get it fully juiced up. If those cells get unbalanced, it's a nightmare. You're gonna degrade your battery life significantly. You can go three times and you'll notice a battery life decrease if you're just not charging correctly. If you guys want me to make a video uh, talking more about the lipos and how to care for your batteries, definitely let me know. But it's super important just to know how to look after those and uh, protect your investment, really. So I hope that gave you guys some ideas on what not to cheap out on when it comes to airsoft stuff. There's definitely a lot of things that you don't need to spend a lot of money on, but there are a few things you probably should. Thank you guys again for 2,000 subscribers. I cannot wait to see where this all leads. I'm loving the process and loving making videos for you guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you in the next one. Peace, guys.